Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope y'all are doing wonderful today. I just came back from getting a ton of materials. I mean, a ton. I went mining. There was a lot of coal in there. And I actually killed one of those uh, scorpions, and it gave me some decorations too, which is kind of neat that you can get uh, stuff like that. Um, I think I'm pretty good on all my materials here, and we can just kind of get on with our business. I did collect a few food items, I think. No, I didn't. Food is going to continue to be a little bit of a problem, I do think, until we figure out what's what. But I did get a whole lot of materials, so let's see what we can build here. Um, uh, so with all of the copper and stuff, we can get... We can't build any of these yet because they require copper ingots. So we're going to have to do the forge first. So let's go ahead and get that ready. Alright. So let's lie the forge down. I'll just put it down right here. Uh, because why not? Come on, let me place it, man. There we go. It's pretty big. Alright, and here we can make copper ingots. We haven't found iron yet. All right, so we got copper ingots, and look, we can make the cladding and stuff. Very, very nice. Also, we can make a copper sword, which, let's see, weapon is 16, and this is 26. That's an iron broadsword. It's better than the stone that we have, I do think. Let's see. Equipment, stone sword, is 11. So, yeah, copper sword, definitely better. Let's go ahead and make it. All right, very good. What else can we make? We can make the sledgehammer, which needs iron, which I haven't found yet. Also, iron armor and iron shields. It looks like we're going to be able to equip very, very well. And look at all the stuff we can make. With bricks, we can start making brick cladding. Actually, with clay and coal. And I have so much of this stuff. How much cladding can we make, actually? We already have so much brick. So that was 20. 30. 40. Oh my gosh. Alright, so brick cladding. 70. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a lot, you guys. Okay, so unfortunately, the bathhouse and where it's at is not, is, is really on the edge. And I wanted to make the wall on the outskirts right here. So if I were to, yeah, I'm afraid it would tear it down if I did a wall right here. No, I'm inside. So technically, the bathhouse is not part of it yet. So if I broke down, really? Hold on, hold, you know, we testing out the copper sword. Nine at a time. Beautiful, man. All right. So this is... A, I don't know why I chopped the dirt down when it's actually going to be dirt. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is clear out everything. I'm not going to do that on camera, though. I'm going to do that next video. But what I'm going to do is create a wall around... I think I'm going to make my base high, you guys. Like, above ground. That way monsters... Like... I can actually make it to where it'll float, too. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'd get back in except for Chimera Wings, but that's a possibility. I might do some fun stuff like that uh, this episode. Um, not this episode, but this chapter. We'll see. A floating castle would be freaking awesome, though. I don't know if there's any build height, but, build height limits, but I doubt it. Some things might need to be built in the, on the ground, but I don't think so. Like this water... I don't know how we can get... Oh, we do have that water block, though. Yeah! We can do stuff like that. All right, really quickly, let's put away... Uh, let's make a chest, actually. Let's make a chest. Uh, what do we need for Colossal Coffer? Pots, wood. We haven't found any wood yet. It's probably going to be in the next area. All right, and right now, we'll just resort to simple storage. And we'll get a little bit more organized this chapter as well. Let's put the brick cladding away. Copper ingots away. We're not going to put the earth away because we're always using that stuff. Anything else that we're overlooking here? Glass brick wall. This is just all stuff for protection. The ornamental swords 
and uh, uh, ornamental armor is good, but we're gonna need iron for that too, and wood. I imagine that that's gonna be in the next area, I'm not too sure, but at any rate, we will go back. So, there's still that big ogre that we could possibly do something against. Um, let me remove the stone sword. There we go. Let me remove that, and that way it'll give us a little bit. And our quest here, let's just go toward the quest. We're gonna try to break out our first guy. We're, we're well equipped now. We can't make any armor yet. But that's okay. There's another little pond we haven't fished in. That's a tall cactus, man! Let me see if we can catch something right quick, you guys. Always gotta check out the fishing. Broken branches. Trash. Uh, fished right by that ogre too if, to see if there would be something different there. Nata. So what is up with that cactus, man? It's just a tall cactus, ain't it? Well. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. So the... The quest here looks like right here. Um, it's here. There's some notes here. Sheets of paper are covered, largely untidy handwriting. Zuljan tries to make out the words. Don't know how, but I'm still alive. Tried to limp back to the hideout, but the monsters have blocked off the pass. They've got it guarded, and I don't have the strength to make it over the mountains. I'm going to head back to the mine, hold myself up, try to come up with a plan. The note ends there. Looks like it was written quite recently. A new quest marker appears on the compass. So, the mine... I guess it's gonna be the left side. We would have probably found them by accident. Yeah, I see the words now. We would have probably found them by accident if we would have checked that out. Uh oh. Metal slime. Uh, scorpion on me. Ouch. Oh man, he's on top of that. There we go. I don't know if you get anything special from those guys, but... Really, still really low on food. I could get some more prickly pears. Prickly peaches, I mean. We're gonna have to do that after I come out, though. These mines, though, they are aggravating because of all of this, uh... All this, uh, stone that can break. We got so much cop already. Just make sure there's no iron in here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Er, who are you? I'm Burly. Can't speak. Throat too dry. Please, give me, give me a prickly peach. Oh man. Well, we gotta get some prickly peaches anyway. We may as well satisfy his needs as well as ours. Prickly peaches all over the place anyway. There's one. That's the quickest access. We'll grab a couple though, because we should be needing to eat like any minute now. And since there's like four right here, you, we, you know, may as well snack a little bit. All right, Ellie's sick bay all over again. <laughs> People always want to eat, man. Which I don't blame him. Hey, was that a special kind of ore? I thought I saw a different color. No, it kind of looked yellow as I passed by. I was like, oh, we found gold already? By accident? Prickly Peach. There we go. Alright, I'm back in action. Wow, look at him go. Calm your nerves, my boy. <laughs> Fwar! That hit the spot. I don't know who you are, mate, or, or you, where you've come from, but you've done me a power of good. I came a crop and fighting, a cropper fighting the monsters. I thought I'd hold myself up here until I got my strength back and scurried back to the hideout with my tail between my legs. Problem was, the monsters had built some sort of barricade, blocking off the pass. So I came back here and racked my brains trying to come up with a plan on how I was going to get back to call. Till my food ran out, that is. So, what's your story then, mate? You're trying to hide from the monsters and all? Are you serious? Glutamus got you to break through the barricade and come to rescue me? I can't believe it. How can an insect like you do all that? Everybody thinks I'm so small and scrawny. And have a potato face, let's not forget that. But let's leave the explanations till later, huh? We can have a good old... Chin wag? Oh, talking, I got you. <laughs> when we're back in call. I haven't heard that word before, chin wag. That's that, quit wagging your chin, man. 
<laughs> people are talking too much. That's what you tell them. Quit wagging your chin. Let's eat a little bit of uh, prickly peach here. All right, and we'll head on back. He had an aggro us. There he is. Come aggro over here, buddy. I'm hoping that they drop something good sooner or later. Man. Prickly peaches that look like it's going to be our only source of food for a little while, y'all. Still ain't found no squid or nothing. We need a prickly peach farm. We need to be able to know how to grow them suckers. That's okay, though. We'll eat another one. It's about to turn dark anyway, so... We're definitely going to need to be... At rest when that happens. Actually, we can kill ghosts throughout the night, too. To get some eggs, which isn't a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Alright, we're back. Thanks, mate. Pee! I don't have feel good to be back in call. Core and the bats are looking better than ever. Did you do all that? You're something else, you know. We've never been able to make them look as smart as all that. Old on. <laughs> you ain't that legendary bodybuilder Barbellion. What's going on about you? Surely not, after all. Think much of a body to write this <laughs> about. <laughs> I'm not a bodybuilder, just a builder. But anyway, thanks for saving my skin. Oh, and if you need any help building that body of yours, just say the word and I'll make a bodybuilder out of you yet. You what? Forgot the body bit, you're just a builder? Haha, <laughs> don't be so modest, mate. You might be a bag of bones right now, but we'll soon get you into shape. I know, I'll train you myself. Ten days with me, and you'll have a six-pack and scrub your smalls on. <laughs> you can scrub your smalls on. All right. So we got two townsfolk now. Well, butter my buns and call me a crumpet. Burley's <laughs> back. <laughs> we all got split up. The monster came and smashed up call. But if we can get the, hang the gang back together, then we can take the fight back to the monsters. As soon as the boys are back in action, we've tracked down the monsters, taken Borbella. We can bust out of here. We can bust her out of there. And if anyone knows where those blighters have taken Barbella, our other mate Burley will. Don't give up, Barbella. I'm coming for you. Who's Barbella? Who ain't she, more like? She's the leader of our gang, the woman of our dreams, and the queen of our hearts. <laughs> she's the mother, our lover, our sister, and our friend. But most of all, she's our one and only hope. But now the monsters have gotten their rotten, dirty mitts on her. We've got to get her back, and it's the last if it's the last thing we do. So, Jim, will you do me a favor? When the time comes to break Barbella out, the clink, will you come with us? Let me tell you something, Zuljin, just between you and me. Barbella likes a nice, hot bath better than anyone. So when we break her out of here, that cold, stinking prison, she's going to want to get clean all over, if you know what I mean. Oh, Lord. Uh, I'll say no more, but if that ain't enough to convince you to help, I don't know what is. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he is something else, y'all. Let me go ahead and take my seat alive. There we go. And, Sai, so Borbella's not back yet then. I should never have got my hopes up. Last time I saw her, she was being carried off by the monsters and she looked a bit of a bad way. Wherever the rotter's taken her, we've got to get it there and break her out sharpish. What? Sharpish? <laughs> Only thing is, i got to take more brawn than we've got to get her out in one piece. That's where you come in, Zuljin. You know, old people, how people say... God, man, it's so hard to read this stuff. You are what you eat. Well, I was about making a massive protein-packed meal to bulk me up a bit. I don't know if... Uh, another one that wants to eat all the time. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm a vegetarian. Just don't want to keep up how much grass I've got to eat just to keep myself in shape. But I believe in you, Zuljan. I know you could cook me a meal that won't... That, that will make my biceps huge. When I first met you in the mine... Picked you out the juiceless prickly peach I've ever tasted. I can't wait to see what you do with the rest of the cactus. Go on, Zuljan. Make me a delicious, nutritious cactus dinner. And we'll put more muscles on my chest. So I'm going to figure out a new recipe. It's good. Cactus steak. A fragrant and filling filet of flame-grilled cactus. Fills hunger meter by 40%. Alright, so we should be able to make that up. Cactus steak. 
All it takes is coal and cactus? I'm gonna make a ton of this. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Cora, now that's what I call a steak. Come on then, Zuljan, and hand it over. We only owe him one. Good. Mmm, that steak smells absolutely gorgeous. I can feel my biceps getting bigger already. Those monsters that kidnapped poor Bella won't know what hit them. Why they kidnapped her in the first place? I don't know, really. After they caught her, they were trying to get all her to tell them about something. But Barbella wasn't having any of it. She got a tight lip, that one. <laughs> she wouldn't talk. The monsters got proper miffed and took her away with them. The goddess only knows what they're trying to get her to say. But anyway, Zuljan, thanks for the stake. Once I've got this down me, I have all the strength I need to head into the monster's lair and bring back Barbella. Alright, we got some coal for it. I would have rather it if he would have gave me back the cactus, but that's okay. And it looks like it's time to fight another round with the monsters. Zuljan, the water uh, we're in just got a whole lot hotter. This ain't no time to stuff in your face with cactus. The monsters got um, a whiff of your cooking and they're coming over to take a bite. Oh lord. When the neighbors know what you're cooking and they come over for some, huh? What's that? You don't know the monsters are coming before they're here. Blimey, ain't it obvious? The air on my pecs is standing up. Oh god, the hair on his chest. <laughs> Would that say they're signaled to be attacked? Well, Zuljan, are you ready to rumble? My poor stomach. I wish I could help you, but I've got this terrible tummy ache. Might be something I ate. Anyway, I reckon I'm gonna have to sit this one out. Be lucky, Zuljan. Oh boy. Their fights are terrible. They don't fight at all. For being so bodybuilderish and stuff like that. I wonder if they are gonna help. Some scorpions appear. Shouldn't be hard at all. Not with a copper sword at least. Oh, my buddy's helping. Burley's helping. There you go. Burley got a hammer too, man. Let's go ahead and eat one of these uh, here healing creams. Come on, metal scorpion. Ouch. Take a couple healing creams, shall we? Leader of the monsters appears. Yeah, charge him, buddy. He's almost dead. Me too. Wonder what happened. Oh, he killed him. I never saw an NPC get killed before. Wow, what did we get? A first face guard fragment? Uh, that's awesome. So what happens to our buddy that kicked the bucket? Three pots of healing cream. Awesome. He's okay. He just can't help you anymore. Thanks for fighting off the monsters, Zuljan. You really showed him who's boss. Why didn't I help you? I weren't scared of nothing of a tummy ache, didn't I? <laughs> you can't expect me to fight with a tummy ache. But anyway, you must be tired from all that fighting. I know you want to get Barbella back as much as I do, but if I don't get a good night's sleep every once in a while, you'll waste away. I know, why don't you take a break from fighting and build me a burly a bedroom? Nothing fancy, just a couple of straw mattresses and something to light it up will do just fine. What do you mean, why only two beds and there's more than two of us? That's, don't worry about it, just build a bedroom, will you? <laughs> Alright, so we do have the option to get I think we're just gonna build a bedroom just to progress the quest right now since it's very very simple what he's asking for um, I don't know where I want to put it I think I'll just put it right here with the rest of the stuff okay so all I need is two more beds I don't need all t all three but I'm going to build it two straw mattresses or mats I need a door. I also need some light. Oh, we got light in here. That's fine. Uh, where's the door? I keep passing stuff up. Can I make wooden doors yet? No, not without wood. <laughs> Silly. Alright, straw door. And I have plenty of materials in here. So I'm just going to take some dirt out. And again, I'm going to be remaking all this stuff, so I'm not going to worry about using another material right now. All right. 
right, and let's do the door right. All right, a minor smithy? Oh, I built something I wasn't even supposed to yet. <laughs> okay. Um, well, <laughs> he's happy about it. That's cool. Um, <laughs> let me do, let me do another straw door, and a light source. Dang it! I built something I didn't even want to. Just build a bonfire right now. All right, and I'm actually gonna build throughout the night because I really want to. Um, I really want to be able to get a few. Um, what do you call? Eggs. There we go. That's all sealed. This will work. Actually. Now I can put the door right here. And I'll put the beds. We'll clear all of this out later when we rebuild. Because not between this video and the next video, I think I'm going to just clear out the town and start with my design. Lugden builds a basic bedroom. And that should do it. They should come over. And I leveled up, baby. All right, so they should come over, I think. A basic bedroom, a light source. I built two beds. Is his quest complete? Yeah, his quest is complete. All right, where are the um, where are the ghosts that are always attacking me? Why aren't the ghosts attacking me? Just because we can get eggs from them, huh? Well, ain't that something? No ghost, just because we want them. Oh, here we go. And no egg. No monster egg. Son of a gun. Wake up, <laughs> Glutimus Maximus. Core blimey, what a bedroom. Thanks a million, mate. Building up your muscles is just like cooking a steak after you've given up a good griddling. A good <laughs> you gotta let them rest if you want to get them nice and juicy. Barbella's, Barbella will kill me if she sees me like this. I've got to get some sleep and plump up my pecs. What's that? You reckon Barbella sounds a bit scary? You might be right there. She ain't the sort of woman you want to get on the wrong side of, but deep down she's the sweetest flower you could ever want to meet. Time was, we was all fighting against a monster on our own, and it was very, every man for himself until the day Barbella showed up and she brought us all together and she got us organized. Without her to keep us in line, we don't stand a chance. We've got to get her back, and it's the least thing we can do. If it's the last thing we do. Oh, and here you go, Zuldin. This is for you. My way of saying thanks for fighting off the monsters. It's your bed. I made it myself. I told you not to worry about making an extra one, didn't I? Apply. Uh, happy now, ain't you? From now on, you'll have my friendly feelings warm in your back every night. And I got a straw mattress. Very good. Zuljin, Zuljin, it's an emergency. While we was out dilly-dallying and building a bedroom, Burley remembered something. He remembered the monsters took our other mate. Apparently, saw the horrible, the the horrible things dragging him off to save uh, to a little fortress they built off to the southwest. If we're lucky, he'll still be there. You better take Burley with you, and I'm gonna get out of there as quickly as and get him out of there as quickly as you can. What do you mean, take Burley with you? What do you What do you think I mean? I want you and Burley to go <laughs> there to the fortress together and bust out our mate. You ain't telling me you never had a head out of town with one of your friends before, are you? If you've got a mate with you, you can watch each other's back and take out the strongest monsters without batting an eye. But don't get too cocky. That fortress is all as well built as I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you want to get inside, you're going to have to go through the front door. And ain't no doubt the monsters will have a mate pretty well guarded. If I were you, I'd equip the best gear I could before I went down there. Take plenty of medicine, too. Burley's already kitted out and raring to go. When you're ready to head down there to save our mate, give him a shout. Alright, and we get a quest marker, and it is nighttime. Hmm, I'm gonna sleep right next to Burley. Man. And that's probably going to be a video all on its own, you guys. Plus, I'm going to need to do a lot of clearing here. 
So I think I'm gonna bid you guys farewell for the day. I'm gonna get a few things handled in town and the next time we come back I'll show you uh, what I got. At least it'll be all cleared out. Um, and we'll see what we can do from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljan signing off. And we'll see you next time.